Pangana, which is a lapse of the Cleveland Conservation Park. It includes the notoriously steep hill uh, Pangana Track, uh, which is a 400 meter climb at 30%, and then um, leveling out a little bit, but still getting 200 meters of elevation in the first kilometer. The race starts with a run down uh, Chambers Gully. This is a four kilometre section of the Bartrill Spur track. Quite a nostalgic part of the trail for me because I used to run it quite regularly when I was living with my parents in the 90s, uh, training for triathlon. It would be about a 3k um, run from home to get to the bottom. And then I'd run up to the corner here and then um, uh, run back home, be a, about an 80 minute run. I used, that, used to do that quite a bit. Then, uh, when I moved away from home, I uh, stopped seeing the trail so much and uh, it was only back when I started training for the Cleveland 50 in 2018 that I uh, came back and used the running chambers again. It's quite a familiar track for a lot of people. 2021 Pangana race, we've got a couple up and coming trail runners in uh, Jared Allen and Jackson Laycock. Uh, they uh, yeah, were going to be my main competition for the day. And um, Jared uh, took the pace down uh, Chambers the first time. He uh, pushed the pace, and I had the decision well, do I uh, sit behind him and get a bit of a slipstream, or do I let him go and uh, conserve my energy and also allow me to see the rocks a bit better? And I chose a second option. So. Yeah, he got a bit of a lead, uh, had about a 30 metre lead by, uh, by the bottom at where we had to start going up uh, the goat uh, track. So with the goat track, Jared slowed down a little bit and I uh, started to work into the hill and I caught him by the end of the, uh, the track. Then um, we had the choice between doing the lookout loop or continuing on. It's a five lap race and we had to do two lookout loops. You just and, gotta grab uh, one of these. Jared and I both chose to do the lookout loop on the first lap. So <laughs> I uh, you know, ended up actually passing him going up the hill. I wasn't sure that what tactic he was doing there, but I think it's the tactic that I use sometimes when I race in uh, marathons with, with uh, groups of other runners is I um, take it a bit easy and let the quicker runners go up the hill and then I catch them on the downhill not uh, burning too much energy to stay with the group. So, uh, yeah, had a little bit of a lead going around the, um, the lookout for the first time. And then uh, two kilometers later, going down the winter track, uh, Jared actually caught me again. Then uh, up uh, Pangana for the first time, uh, Jared, yeah, he was, he sent a couple of words to me saying that you're yeah, not looking forward to this next section, but he still went for it. He, uh, he pushed it up the hill. Uh, he was uh, doing it controlled run uh, for the first part of the track. Uh, at the bottom I just started walking for the first time, I was just straight into a hike, and, uh, so he got a bit more of a lead on me uh, going up the, uh, the first first steep bit. Uh, however, about 200 metres later I did uh, catch him, I walked up to him and then uh, hiked quicker than him for the rest of it. By the end of the uh, two kilometre Pingana track I already opened up about a two minute lead uh, because I was able to get back into my running and I think it was a bit gassed from pushing it on the down and then the first part of the climb. So quite a bit of tactics involved in how you spend your energy over a, a difficult course like this. Each time going up uh, Pingana, you get to see some of the slower competitors because it's a loop course. Now I thought it would have been very hard for a lot of these people because they're just spending so much time on there on this really steep hill. Uh, anyway, it's um, yeah, it's, it's part of the part of the course, part of the challenge, and I found it very challenging. So even though it was a really cold day, there's still quite a few people on the course, uh, whether they were spectating or. Um, just going out for a hike themselves or other people in the event. So there's always some people to give you encouragement when you're going up the hill, which is quite nice. You're doing amazing. You got this.
It was a pretty cold day, which I guess is good for running, but one thing I had to deal with was a sore foot, so that built up. Um, so that by the fourth uh, descent of Chambers Gully, I found it quite, uh, quite noticeable. So I had to slow up a little bit there, um, but I still had a, a tactical goal, which was to run all of the goat track uh, climb. I dug really deep on the fourth uh, time to actually keep running for the Chambers Gully track. That was very difficult with um, the amount of elevation I already had in my legs. that I paid the price on the 4th and the 5th time up Pingana. They were quite a bit slower than the other times. Uh, but I think that's just what happened when uh, there's so much elevation, it eventually catches up with you. So that's the Ultra Hard Series finish for 2021. Three great locations. I'd like to thank Ben for choosing such great locations for these events. And also like to thank everyone else uh, who was involved along the way. Uh, really great series and some really uh, great experiences. Thanks. <laughs>